Hello, my little gravy boats! So, as you can see by the title, we have started a new series. This is Tortuga Season 3. I am so freaking excited. And where I am right now is actually on a creative world. It's the same seed uh, for the server, but I'm in a creative world because this is just where I was testing some builds and stuff. I just took them down so that I wouldn't have any spoilies. But yeah, this is our base area for the server. Um, we have our own decent sized island. Now, in a second, I am going to join on the server and show you guys what I have built so far. But I just wanted to give you guys an idea of what the island looked like before I started building anything at all. So, I'm just going to give you guys a quick fly around here to show the bulk of the island. And then we'll hop on over and I will show you guys what all I did. So we have a pretty nice island. Uh, one of the things that drew me to the island was this natural waterfall kind of thing that we got going on here. And I'll show you guys that when we get on the server. But this up here I have leveled out already on there and we're going to build our main house up here. And then I'm thinking for this section of the island over here is going to be some farms mainly. Um, on this bigger portion here. We're going to have a big storage system kind of thing right here. Um, our mine is in the hill over here. And yeah, so I think without delaying any further, I'm going to go ahead and hop on the server and I'll show you guys what's going on. Alright guys, we are on the server now and this is what we've got going on so far. I have a little enchanting station here. This is just a little setup with a bed. I have a parrot. I haven't named him yet. If you guys have any suggestions for names, please put them in the comments. I'd love to know what your suggestions are. Um, over here we've got our portal, which I don't have connected up where I want it to be, so we're going to be doing that pretty soon. Um, I've just been using this area for tree growing. Uh, over here are the two buildings that I have for now. I will show you guys that in one second, but first, we have some oxalotls! I love these guys so much. The first one that I got was this little pink guy over here, which I have named Steven. And then we got the yellow one, which is Nancy. Hi Steven, how are you? And then, this is a cyan oxalotl that I actually got from Glitter, and is so cute! I named it Tinky Bean, because those are the nicknames of my children. <laughs> <laughs> and cyan is like one of my all-time favorite colors. It's gorgeous. So why not, you know, just why not? And then here we've got a little wheat farm. It's pretty mediocre, I'm not going to lie. And then our mine over here. And then over here I'll show you guys the sheep house. Now if you guys don't know how to do this, all you have to do is type out your regular signs and then you use a glow ink sack on it, which I don't have any on me at the moment. But you put, you click on with a glow ink sack and then you can dye them whatever color you want. So I did cyan and purple for the sheep house. And for this season of Tortuga, I'm going to be doing a wool shop whenever we open up the shopping district. So I have every color in here and I've just been working on breeding them all to get a good supply going. I know these are kind of defying the laws of physics, but it's fine. <laughs> um, yeah, I have double chest for every color to collect. And it is super loud in there. Oh my goodness, I'm going to get out. And then over here I have the cow house. So in the back there is where I have them to breed. So this is where I just breed them all up. And then in here is the killing killing section <laughs> for food and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all that's going on there. And now I'll go up and I'll show you guys where I have leveled off for our main base. Alright, so up here is where we're going to put our main base. I've just been trying to work on getting all this stone cleared out with dirt and I had to cover up some holes and little cave system thingies. But, um, yeah. Up here I thought would be a really good place to put our main house. Because I think it's the, well it was anyway before I leveled it off a good bit. Uh, it was the highest part of the island. 
But I'm thinking I'm gonna get rid of a bunch of trees here, or possibly just have the main house be kind of tall. And then we'll have a nice balcony so that we can look out on it and stuff like that. So I have a really great idea that I'm super excited for, for a main base. I was working on the uh, palette, like the block palette, on the creative world. So tonight I'm going to be starting on working with that. So I'm super excited. And I can't wait to show you guys what's going on with the block palette and everything. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to get some stuff together, all the blocks that I'm going to need to start building. Um, and then I will update you guys whenever I have something to show you, I guess. All right, guys. So I have a little bit of an update to give you. Uh, first of all, we have a cat. Isn't he cute? I need to get a name tag so that we can name him something. I also need one for the bird. But the update is on the house. Now, it looks, a, I don't know, it looks a bit weird, but I actually really love the block palette that I chose. But we're doing uh, cyan concrete, both like the regular and the powder, uh, the deep slate bricks for the foundation, spruce logs, and then copper stairs for the roof. Now, I don't want to wax them or anything because I'd love to see them like just weather over time, which you see a couple are already starting. And I really like the greenish blue that they turn after they have completely oxidized. So it'll go really well with all of this. So this is going to be like, I guess the main part of the house. And then we're gonna have like a little bridge kind of thing, I think, to connect over to this other section here. Um, if we don't do that, it can just be two separate sections and then I can figure something to do over in this section here. But as of right now, I'm not quite sure what I wanna do just yet, but I do know that I wanted to use up most of the area up here for the main house part. I just couldn't connect these because it just, it looked really, it was a really weird shape and I didn't want to deal with the really weird shape. <laughs> so that's what's going on with this for now. Um, on the inside here, I'm thinking for the floors, we'll probably do spruce planks, um, mostly slabs, I think, just to save on resources. Uh, so we'll do that. And then I'm thinking this is going to be a two story and then on the back half over here, we'll have um, a balcony. So this will have like the wood up top for the ceiling. Um, all of this will, we'll have the planks up for the ceiling. And then when I do the second half of the house, this section above here will be what the balcony is. And then we can look out over here and see like the oceans out here. And we have a little waterfall back here um, that I believe I showed you guys. But yeah, so that's what I've got going on for now. I gotta get tons and tons and tons of copper. Like this takes so much copper, I was not anticipating <laughs> how much copper this was going to take. But I have to get mining, get all the copper. These are gifts from Ice and Zombie. They're little amethysts. I have one here and then I have one on the other side over there that I'm gonna put on that section whenever we get it built up. Uh, but yeah, that's the, that's the progress so far. I have big ideas for the rest of the island as well, but of course I don't want to spoil anything until we get to it. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to continue working on this stuff and I will update you guys a little bit later. So, uh, this build here, little fun fact actually, <laughs> I actually was building it on stream last night, which is super weird to say that I actually streamed. Yeah, uh, very weird. But, I'm streaming now, <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. So if you guys want to join me over there, I'm going to have my information right here for you guys. You guys can come over, join me, and give your opinions and inputs and just chat a little bit if you want. I'd love to have you guys over there. All right, guys. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to breed Nancy and Steven. <laughs> so Steven and Nancy. Oh, oh my god. It's so precious. Aw. We're going to name him Brad. That's Brad. Look at him go. He's so zippy. Oh, I'm so happy. 
Oh my goodness. Okay guys, so I have a little update to give on the house. Now, I'm going to warn you. <laughs> As you can see, it looks a, a little bit funky at the moment. But this is going to be one of those trust the process kind of things, I think. Because as these blocks, the copper blocks, are oxidizing, it looks a bit weird. Like, I don't really like the way that these blocks look. But when they all turn to, like, that bluish-greenish color, it's going to be a lot better, I think. So I'm going to hop up here on this tree. This is kind of where I've just been stepping back to look at it and this is what we have so far so I did this design with the roof and the thing that I'm having a bit of trouble with is trying to find a way to add a second story now I want it to be yeah like two levels this level here and then another level and on the second level we're gonna have that balcony in the back but I'm not quite sure how I want to go about it it's just been a little bit tricky. And I don't have any building. Oh, a gift. <gasps> oh, more copper. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my goodness. We definitely need a ton. <laughs> but um, now I lost my train of thought. Goodness sake. But yeah, I'm having a bit of an issue trying to figure out how to make the second floor. I tried building up against this wall here because I thought about having this go up here and then back across but then it just it's too short for a second story so I might end up having to move it over and that way the top of the log will be hidden by a stair or something like that it'll be a little bit narrower but that was the point anyway I didn't want it to be all the same width and whatnot. So I'm thinking maybe on this block right here, we'd be able to build up to that and come straight down here on both sides with the spruce logs and then come back this way and connect it up to here. It's just, it's gonna be interesting to say the least. I might have to change the shape of this part, like take this wall out here and just connect it across and back. That way this kind of like meets up a little bit easier. And then in return there though, we'll have a bigger balcony. So I'm going to play around with it a bit more. Um, hopefully in the next episode we'll have a lot more work done to it. I definitely need to get a lot more mining time in to get a lot more copper. I've been getting a lot of copper myself, getting some from James, getting some from other people that don't want their copper. <laughs> so it's definitely going to take a lot. But I'm super excited to see what it looks like when it is finished. The other thing, just real quick, I did a little edit on my skin. So on the back here, I just added some blue to the bottom of my hair and then replaced the yellow and the flowers with the same color blue. And I added some to the front. And yeah, and now my shoes are black instead of gray. <laughs> Not that big of a deal, but I thought I'd share anyways. I have um, my original skin on my new cam account that I bought. So hopefully I'll be able to get better shots when building and we can do time lapses and cool stuff like that. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end this here. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time. Bye! Uh -huh.